What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. You are now joining me in Riverside, California. We are currently here at um, Boise Cascade Company. So I have been to Boise Cascade before, just not this location. So this is a new one to me. So um, this one is in Riverside off of Van Buren Boulevard, I think. But um, anyway, so yeah, this is where we're at. It's another big yard, another load of lumber. So, but we're just waiting for somebody to come over and grab this paperwork for, from me. So, I just got to give this paperwork to one of the forklift drivers. As you can see, we're going to go up to Las Vegas. It's going to some kind of an oil company, but anyways. I think he's coming right here, so I will give him the paperwork and let's get loaded. All right guys, since I've already done lumber loads for you, um, I've never really guys showed you guys how I throw my straps. And so today I'm gonna show you guys how I throw my straps and how I strap down loads. Now this isn't a very tall load. I mean, it's only you know two and a half feet off the top of my deck and at the highest point it's only you know five feet off the top of my deck but i'm going to show you how i throw straps if you do have a tall load that way you don't throw out your arm trying to baseball throw them because i know a lot of people you know you'll grab them like this right and you'll unroll a lot and you'll huck them like that well the problem is is some people will throw out their shoulders right you know or or people will go like this and hurl them over their shoulder like that right well the problem is is your your rotator cup and your shoulder and it's taking all that punishment well today i'm going to show you an easier way for us guys that are getting up there in age so um so let me set this camera on the ground and I'll I'll give you a better angle. I got my little tripod out, so I'll see you here in a second. All right, guys. So what I do is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the strap and we're gonna hang it down, you know, two and a half, three feet, okay? And then you're gonna grab down here Let's make it shorter so that it's easier to do. So you're going to hang it down a couple of feet. You're going to bring it up and you're going to hold this strap, the rest of the strap with your hand. You're going to bring this circle over. Then you're going to do that. So essentially you're making a loop. Okay. And then with that loop, like, watch, I don't know if you can see how easy, let me back up and throw it right here. I don't know if you can see how easy this is to throw, but watch this. So, I don't know if you've seen how easy that was, but let me, uh, I'll do the rest of them as I kind of move down the trailer and, uh, I'll do them from this way though, so you can see it without me standing in the way.
So as you can see guys, that's pretty simple. So sorry I'm not saying too much, but I was just gonna do that part to some music, but you know, it's pretty simple. You just lower it down a couple feet, grab the bottom, bring it up over the top, grab your strap and grab the roll, bring it down to the bottom, hold it in that little sack and then grab that, grab your flat hook and then just let it roll out. And then you got a nice little pouch. Well, anyways, and you can throw this sucker as high as you want with barely any effort. I mean, you can launch this thing, you know, 50 feet in the damn air. So, as long as your strap is, obviously. One more strap. So I'll show you guys one more time. So, and obviously I don't, I mean, I could just roll these across, but loop, swoop, whatever. However they teach you how to tie shoes, that's what I'm doing, but with strapping, so just like that. Sorry, I didn't throw that one quite far enough, but anyways, guys, and then for any of you guys that are new out there, always put a twist in your strap, so. As you can see, every strap down my trailer is twisted. Just prevents, uh, it prevents the wind from catching it and whipping it back and forth across your load. So this one I didn't quite throw hard enough, but make sure it's flat across that wood. But, but yeah, and then I'll show you how I wind up this, uh, the back side right here real quick. So this is how I do. Actually, let me show you one that's not going to take me so long to wind up. That way, you guys aren't sitting there watching me wind up the damn strap for three minutes. First of all, I rotate it so it has that twist in it for the wind. Then I fold under. Under, 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 until it's long enough that you're going to have a decent amount hanging below. And I bring all the extra, pull it down through. This is the important part. All your extra, I push it down through the rail a little bit. That way, as you tighten it up, your strap's gonna be pulled tight against it. That way, this doesn't end up, this chunk of strap doesn't end up coming out and start blowing as you go down the road. But, so there's that. Take it, stick it in there. Tighten it up. You want it, you know, to be long enough to go around this thing you know a good couple of times that way you know it's not going to come loose so but anyways guys that's strapping 101 for any of you newcomers or any of you guys out there who are still baseball throwing your straps um, I would highly suggest trying the way I just showed you um, it makes throwing over containers or throwing over anything that maxes out your height on your step decks, your flatbeds, um, it'll make your life a hell of a lot easier. So, but anyways, guys, I will leave you guys with me finishing up, uh, buttoning this load up and carrying on with my day. So appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video.